Crews hired by the National Weather Service lifted the 8,000 pound dome off the pedestal Friday morning and now they begin replacement of that pedestal. The white column up there is going to be replaced. They're going to lift up a dolly, install that in the dolly and then lift that down. Then work will begin to install the new pedestal at the Boise Doppler radar, an important replacement because the pedestal contains the most critical components of the Doppler radar, a system that helps you to know whether or not you'll need your umbrella and rain boots for the day. This radar was installed in 1995 and uh, the mechanical components of it are just breaking down with time. But it withstood its 20 year lifespan and now it's time for an upgrade. The systems have been breaking down across the country uh, and with these new gears and motors, uh, it'll increase the reliability of the system. And if it's a system being funded by your tax dollars, reliability is what we want. The weather radar is used by the Department of Defense here in our area, the Department of Transportation, the FAA, and the Department of Commerce. And your local weather forecasters. Let's take a look at the very latest uh, Doppler radar with warnings and advisories. The Doppler radar has the ability to analyze the height of clouds and therefore determine the severity of a storm. It can also tell us when rain might turn to hail or how much moisture will hit the ground. Through the last week we just went through, we used Pocatello's radar to see some of the storm tops. As well as a local National Weather Service satellite, a slower, much less detailed version of the forecast, but it's better than nothing for the next little while. The Boise Doppler radar is expected to be down for about another two weeks. That's when replacement and refurbishment of the pedestal is expected to be finished. In Boise, McKenna King, six on your side.